you can definitely see now the people have spoken in Sheboygan after months of backlash and, of course, that movement to recall Mayor Ryan. The city's next mayor has little time to prepare. Dancing his way to leadership, Terry Van Akron beat incumbent Bob Ryan by nearly 800 votes. Once rallying support in front of City Hall, things have quieted down a bit, and the mayor-elect tells me he's ready to go. I've talked to a few of the aldermen already. We're going to be meeting with them and, and uh, talk about what's, what's coming up. Less than two weeks separate the man from the job. First up, Van Akron will tackle a highly contested garbage tax and a casino project in the works for the city. Are you for or against the casino coming to You know, I, I really can't say one word or the other because I don't. we don't have all the information yet. Ben Akron tells me he'll also work to shrink the Common Council and take a proposed pay cut as mayor a year before it's scheduled to take effect. If the duties have changed, I think the salary has to change. We lost. Let's put it that way. Mayor Ryan, still shocked by the loss, is also pressing forward. In Madison today for city business, he told me this week he'll make the most of every minute in office. Been working on several other projects, of which uh, we'll be able to announce another one here in about a week of a new manufacturer coming to town. It was surprising to me. Many voters are excited to start a new chapter and begin healing the city's image. I'm hoping that uh, he can work with the aldermen to move the city forward and continue doing so. Now, Van Akron also tells me he'll try to figure out how to create a new finance director position here at City Hall. That does mean, though, that he'll have to shore up some additional city funds to do that. He tells me he'll hash all that out after taking the oath of office on March 5th. On your side, live in Sheboygan, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. Yeah, the start of a new era in Sheboygan. Thanks, Cody.